Hello everyone. Hello everybody. Ooh, we're both out of breath a bit. <laughs> Do you want to know why? Do you want yes. to know why? Do you want? Yeah, let, let's explain. Are you sitting comfortably? Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Are you Jehovah's Witnesses sitting comfortably? Because I know there'll be a few of you watching tonight. Oh yes. Well, what happened was I went out to get some food shopping. We've got a local store just around the corner from us. And Mark took Charlotte, our youngest daughter, to a birthday party, a 10th birthday party for her, one of her very good friends at school, which she can now do. Happy birthday, Sasha. Happy birthday, Sasha. Anyway, so she went off there. And as I was coming back up the street, laden down with bags, Mark was coming down the street in the van, trying to find somewhere to park. I couldn't find anywhere. And we went, he suddenly pulled up by the side of me and went, quick. He said, there's nowhere to park, but there's JWs around the corner with their stands and the magazines the on them. The first time I've seen the stands. We always said that if we saw them, we would go and stand by them. And so true to our word, I dived in the house, dumped the shopping. The audacity of it. <laughs> Mark dived. Parking their stands right outside our house. Be prepared. Whoa. Be prepared. You're in the public eye. And um, Mark went and parked the vehicle. So, um, oh, we thought we'd go and even the odds up a bit. Yeah. And... Uh, and what you're about to see when we arrived there I, I apologize for the shakiness because we didn't have the video camera with that we only had an iPod yeah. that didn't have a lot of room left on the recording side of it because I hadn't had time to delete all the videos on there so, and it was only a, so, only a so my hands were shaking like this so I apologize if it's a bit shaky and apologize if the screen turns up and down and over and over and everything else <laughs> but we actually <laughs> run out of video room to record yeah. because there was a lot more that happened at the end of it that we wished we'd recorded and had the room on there to record. But we'll but be, be better prepared next time. Better believe prepared. Me. But at the end of this bit that you're about to see, what we'll do is we'll come back on and just finish off exactly what the brother said um, towards the end and what happened. Because obviously you're going to want to know what happened at the end. Did they get their clubs out and start beating us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're still here. <laughs> yeah, still here. Anyway, we'll All see right. you in a few bits. Enjoy the video. We hope you do. Andre, you alright brother? We thought it was a bit uneven at the moment with the fact that it's saying one thing but we thought we'd give the other side. You're in a cult, you know that don't you brother? You're in a cult. You are in a cult and, you're, and your children are dying needlessly from the budget conclusions that they could have. It's very sad. Voice of conscience, Raymond Francis, governing body member. I'm, 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 I'm quite on one hand. Are you recording? Guys? Yes, I am. Okay. Were well, you out in public? So, well, Raymond Francis, if you heard of him, he's a governing body member. It's a beautiful book. It's not angry, but it is to sort of let everybody know that this is a cult. It's nothing to do with Jesus Christ. That's his, his choice, isn't it? No, it's all of our choice. Exactly. Yeah. You choose here, I just my Yeah, exactly. But I'm not forcing yeah, you. No, I'm no, not forcing no, you. But we are preventing no, no, no. people from joining. But when you, when we leave, we get shunned. So shunned. there's a reason for that. And you included would shun us. So uh, we get. Our way of saying no, it's wrong. It's not Christian. We chose we chose Christ sensible. against the Watchtower, because Christ is who you need to go to, not an organisation. John fourteen six, brother. Freemasons, it's got a Freemasons background. It's got a Freemasons, yeah. It's got a Freemasons background. People were here on both sides of the road, don't they? Yeah. Exactly, this is a choice. Yeah, it's a good choice, yeah. And we've made our choice. We're just hoping to wake a few people up. Yeah. It's a preventative measure to stop people from joining this lot because they're toxic. They're damaging, they commit suicide, people are dying from blood transfusions, they're breaking up families, clinical depressions. I could go on, brother. I love and respect you, I really do. We do. But it's not you, it's the religion that you belong to, it's wrong. Did you know I that did you know that it was Freemasons? Did you did you know that the Freemasons started the cult? Did you know that? Did you know that Charles Taze Russell is actually buried within a Masonic grounds? with a pyramid and an eye above his head. Did you know that? It's such a shame because you're, in a, you're doing this for no reason. You're doing this, you're wasting your lives. 
because you haven't got Christ in your life. I don't waste my life. You haven't got Christ in your life, Andre. You haven't. I'm very happy. This is my choice, and I will carry it that way. Yeah. How are you, brother? Have you, have you looked into you, this religion that you belong to? Have you? I mean, critically. I mean, actually, from its roots, from all of the false prophecies. Have you looked at this history? 1975. Have you looked at all the 1925, when the Earl was going to end. Deuteronomy 18 talks about the false prophet. Believe me. And these we prophecies don't come this. true. We were standing where you are now. Yeah, keep testing ministry. you in the faith when we did that. And it was wrong. It was we so realised it was wrong. They prophesied has all come to nothing. And it is, they are fulfilling a prophecy themselves in Deuteronomy 18. If it hasn't come from Jehovah God's mouth, then they are a false prophet. We do this because we are. love all Jehovah's Witnesses and we love the family that we have still trapped in this cult. And we, we love you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if you were standing on the corner over there, yeah. I will respect your wish and your freedom of thinking and your I'm not going to be alright. Well then you're if asking you're me to move on, brother. Yeah. We stirred it up a bit, I think. We did, we did. Well, we want to just say that obviously at the end of that, um, what happened was the video, the iPod thing stopped recording because uh, it just went on. And I wasn't sure what, whether I'd done something wrong, but uh, it just didn't have enough memory. So we managed to get that other little clip, but that was it, it was completely full. But what, what happened after that, um, was it was a bit more banter back and forth and um, brother Andre I want to just get the point of what he said um, across because I think it's very valid uh, and very and, and, and quite a, a quite an important point um, I mentioned about the blood and I said if the organization turned around and actually told everybody you can now have a blood transfusion there would be a mass exodus he turned around and said we don't know each other very well but if you did know me you'd have known that in Poland I studied medicine now I wasn't getting at the medical side of it. <clears throat> what I was getting at was that the organisation stopped people from having blood because they base it on the biblical principles and the Bible and scriptural scriptures they use to say that it's against Jehovah that you reason you shouldn't have blood. But as soon as I mentioned the blood, he said about the medical background he had, what's that got to do with the price of fish? It doesn't have anything to do with the blood issue. No. Blood, yet medicine side of things with regards to what the blood is made up of with all the fractions, yes. But the reason they can't have blood is purely based on what they would say is a scriptural reasoning. So the fact that he <clears> came straight back out and said, um, it's, it's, it, you know, it's because I, I have a medical background, had nothing to do with it. So I just wanted to point that out to Brother. If you do watch this video, Brother... If, if you ever want to if, have, a, have a discussion with me about the blood issue, yeah. I would warmly welcome that, yeah. but of course you won't because you're shunning me. Yeah. But I've made it very clear to well, you. Well, he didn't shun us today, he had no well, choice. Well, he had no choice, But he? he did to begin with, he didn't want to speak. No. And that was his son by the side of him, and I could see his son was getting extremely angry because yeah. he was grinding his teeth. We love you, uh, young man. Yeah, we do. I and won't mention your name no, because I, won't, I want to bring it up, no. but I, I, I know understand. who you are, and, I, and no. I appreciate that you were stood by your dad, and you, you saw this, and this was your first, probably, experience of actual activism against the watchtower mm. and what i want to say to you is i hope that whatever we said i hope that you have done your research because if you're still in it and you you've done the research that you've you so say have done wow well because everybody I we know that has done research on the founding and and where false prophecies etc are no longer jw's for a very good reason i asked you young man young brother have you done your history? You said yes. So what I'm going to ask you now is to think about that very carefully because if you have done your research you will look a lot deeper than you really have. I'm not talking about the Proclaimers book. I'm talking about actually going out and doing some research. Yeah. And you can do it on the internet. And don't be afraid to do it in private if you have to. Mm -hmm. But if you really do believe that you're a Jehovah's Witness and that you've got a future in this religion then make sure you understand its history, make sure you understand its policies and procedures of things that are happening today yeah. and how it's affecting people. You, you kept saying, uh, brother, that um, it's a choice and that you would respect us if we were stood there silently. Uh, well, no, no, because unfortunately this cult that we've now left, this religion, this, this religious, organised, brainwashing cult we have left has given us power and a voice to speak out. Yep. Like lions, we now roar 
because we are angry at the way that we have been brainwashed and that you can stand there and I know that you are brainwashed and I just hope that you have actually got something that we've said today and taking it away with you but we're not going to stand there in silent you would like us to stand there in silent yeah. you want to control <clears throat> us like you controlled us when we were in your religion all of the elders yeah i was just going to say to add to that to what cora has just said yeah i was genuine and so is my wife in saying to these two brothers i hope they're watching this because they probably will be tonight um that we genuinely love you but do you know what within a couple of minutes of standing there and watching you and you're watching your, your elder brain kicking in, you thought, you genuinely thought, didn't you, that you could actually just move us to one side and for us to remain silent. You genuinely thought that. that. Mm. Well, let's get one thing absolutely straight. No, we're we are our own entities now. Yeah. But not only that, we're a part of our as well. And we're also a very active part on Facebook, social networking sites. Mm. We are never going to go quietly. We had the six no more. of the Watchtower banner there. But the reason we took that was because it said about Jehovah's Witnesses breaking up families. The six Screens is a very good site, but there's a lot more out there. JWFATS.org. Yeah. Um, the the hour, uh, dot co. You, there's a lot of a lot of sites. When you start looking, you start to see. We're going to get a new banner made and up. And we're going to get another banner with lots of different. A -A -W -A -A .co. All of them on the bottom um, because it's a shame to just say one. But yeah. what we wanted to do was we didn't want to just stand there. We wanted to make a statement. So literally that was quickly, that was quickly thrown together yeah. and put on a piece of batten as we're walking up the street <laughs> <laughs> and then running because we didn't do want you know, to go. But it, I was just going to say that when we were there. Um, he, he did try to control the situation. He did. Um, and manoeuvre it to the point where we would go away. And we weren't going to no. do that. No. So um, what, what happened was they put their covers over their, their little wheelie things. And as they did that, I said, thank you. Because hopefully by you now walking away, we've saved a life. Yeah. He then said, that's what we're trying to do. I know you think that's what you're doing, but mm. that's not what you're doing. You're actually putting people in harm's way. Mm. Because, yes, you said it's a freedom of choice. Um, it is until you're then a Jehovah's Witness. And then it's no longer your choice. But you're not going to move us on, brother. N none of you are. You're never going to push us out of the way. We're there, to, we're there for good now. And, and I'll tell you why we're doing it. It's not because we're just angry. Because we still are very angry at, at seeing you out there. Looking for some innocent, vulnerable person to pick up one of those books one of those toxic magazines that you, you somehow, somehow still peddle. But we're doing this for other people. We're doing this to stop people. As I told you, face to face, we are preventing people from joining this religion. That's why we're stood out here now on the street corner with you. Mm. We don't want people to pick up these magazines. We want people to have a, um, an actual realization of what it is on every single side, not just your point of view, because mm. people who leave, get shunned they get treated like they are dead i will walk along that street and i will have people walking past me as if i am invisible now that is a consequence of leaving your religion your con your yeah. it has nothing to do with god you said you had christ in your life you may very well think that but you've actually got an organization in your life that's controlling you and making your move every move that you do is being controlled by them and suggested by them it's got nothing to do with our lord jesus no. christ nothing. so can i just add also to all of the jehovah's witnesses in cheltenham anywhere else that we might be visiting if we see you out there with your racks and you are you and you're entitled to do that fully yeah. support that because this is a free country but you can guarantee that and i don't care how busy i am i will stop what i'm doing and i will come and stand by you and if i don't have any literature on me i will shout from the rooftops mm -hmm. that these people shun us be prepared because although you won't stop your door-to-door -door, we're not going to stop this either no. this is our door-to-door -door work this is what we're doing to counteract what you're doing because everybody needs to know every single side of it not yeah. just your side we don't want to see any more clinical depressions we don't yeah. want to see anybody else no. dying on hospital beds mm. we don't want to see any any child molested or raped anymore within this organization all the things that you like to hide so it's not going to happen anymore enough is enough enough so we love you and um, I, I'm sorry you went away like you did, but I hope that something we said went with you, 
or mm. the reasons why we were doing it Maybe, and not just yeah. oh look they're apostates think about what you said think about the fact that as soon as i mentioned the blood issue and how if they let it go mm. you mentioned the medical side of it has nothing to do with why you don't take blood the reason you don't take blood is because of you've based it on scripture mm. and that it, it offends jehovah god mm. when you told you just threw that in my face. Well, I'm baffled. You I'm, didn't mention Jehovah once in your conversations no, with us. Not not, once. not scripture, nothing. But do you know, I'm baffled to think that you might have thought you could have a debate with us about the medical side of this. Are you kidding me? Have you got any idea? You say you sc- studied medicine. Mark has studied medicine are now. You, the are you blood side are you of it. absolutely serious? You could have a serious debate with us about the blood I'd issue have loved to have seen and it. fractions I would have loved to and have seen percentages it. and and whole blood issues and everything else to do with it. You think you could stand there and have a a rational debate when we're talking about hemorrhage? Really? Think about that, brother. Come on, wake up. Anyway, we love you all. Yep. And um, if you don't agree with our methods, that's absolutely fine, but we're not going to stop. We're not stopping, and we'll make no apology for that. No, not at all. No more. No. You don't apologise for going door to door. We're not apologising for standing there next year. And you've to you. never apologised to us for the things you've done to us through the years. No. Never. No. And Nor ter- that we're looking for one. No, well, do you know what? I am actually looking for an apology. <laughs> Mark is. I'm not bothered. You know, I am looking for an apology because there was no need to do what you did. Mm. But that's besides the point. But I don't want to see anybody else, nor does my wife, go through the same mental uh, torment of being inside this religion. Mm. No more. No more. Anyway, love you all, and um, let's see what we get up tomorrow, Sunday tomorrow. You never know, they might be out again. You never know. I should be out there with my binoculars, and we'll have a good look round. Oh, we'll take a a deleted iPod with us as well, or or a camera. Anyway. Get a a full movie in. (laughs) Till the next time. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.